In this tutorial, we will go over the process of using the census wizard to build a secondary household in the situation where a family has split into two households. We'll begin by clicking on census and navigating to the census wizard. We will now search for the student by putting in the student number. Now that we have located the household, we will create an additional household for Michael Schofield, and we will put the children into that household as their secondary household. So we will begin by clicking on Michael, Allie, Michael Jr., and Layla. Now we will hit clear search fields and we will locate the address to which Michael has moved into. The address is 4007 Alton Road. We will leave the road out and click search. We've now located 4007 Alton Road. We will click on 4007 Alton Road. We have now compiled Michael and his three children as well as the address. So we will click on continue step two. In step two of the process, we will enter his name with a slash and when we are finished, we will put in the household ID. We will now enter in the phone number any comments as necessary, and we will put the date they moved into that household. The date is February 17th. We will select this for all members. Now, if this Schofield household with Michael is the secondary household for his children, we will go ahead and choose the secondary box for them. So. Down here, we will check secondary for Layla, for Michael Jr., and for Allie. It is not the secondary household for Michael, the father, because that is the only household he lives in. We will also check the mailing box. Never check secondary on an address. There are no secondary addresses. So we will enter in the start date for all fields, and then our last step is to click Save and Continue, Step 3. Next, we will click Save and Done. Now, we will perform a search to correct the other household and remove Michael from the household. So this time, we will navigate to the Search button and click Advanced, and we will search for the household by putting in the student number again. Both households display. We see the new household with Michael, Allie, Layla, and Michael at 4007 Alton, and we see the previous household. We will click on the previous household. We will click on the household members tab. We will select Michael, and we will end date him in the household. We will keep the relationships because they have the same relationships with the children. Now, we will come up and do another search. We can also search by putting the student number directly in the search area underneath household. Now that we search for this, we see that the original household has Nika, Ali, Layla, and Michael, and the other household has Michael, Ali, Layla, and Michael. You can always update the relationships or phone number or other information as needed. This concludes the tutorial on updating households by using the census wizard to create a secondary household.